Lady Franklin, I think, was a force to be reckoned with. She was an intelligent woman. She was very determined. She was one of the first people to have an inkling that maybe things had gone awry. She was the person who really began agitating in 1847 for somebody in Britain to send out some sort of expedition to look for her husband because she knew her husband very well. She knew his capabilities and I think she knew his plans. Jane was the driving force behind the searches to find out what happened to the expedition. Her home was known as the Battery among her friends for the amount of sort of vitriolic letters that she wrote to the Admiralty and public figures like the Tsar of Russia and the President of the United States and you know she was really behind a lot of those early search campaigns. The initial search expeditions that they sent out were really hoping to find survivors. They knew that the men had enough supplies for two to three years and it was 1847-ish so they were expecting to be able to go and, and bring men back. She sent letters out with every search expedition, hoping that she would be able to get these letters to him, that he was still alive. When you read one of the letters that's in the exhibition, it's written eight years after Franklin died. She doesn't know that because we haven't, at this point, discovered the Victory Point note, but she starts it by saying, my dearest love. Whilst it's easy to sort of um, see her as this kind of slight caricature of someone who, who, is, uh, who is being very feisty and fighting for everything, she was a woman who missed her husband and wanted to know what had happened to him and I think, you know, that's easy to understand. <laughs>